In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add text onto the screen as you're talking inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a video imported, as you can see in my example, I've just got this five, maybe just shy of five second video imported into my sequence. And this is just a second channel video where I'm talking about learning a new skill. There you go. So it's a very short clip, but I'm going to show you how you can add word for word, how to add the text onto the screen. So before I do this, it's really important that you have the latest updated version of Premiere Pro because we're going to be using the captions workflow inside of Premiere and more importantly, the new speech to text recognition software in Premiere in order to analyze the video and then create a transcript for us. This is really important because if we've got extended periods of video, even though this one's short, if we had a longer video, it would take us way too long to manually type out the entire transcript. So before we start this, we first just want to change our workspace from editing into captions. Then we'll just go up here onto the top left and you can see we've got effect controls and next to that we have text. If you're not seeing text for any reason though, then make sure you go into window and make sure you select text there. So it should be coming up with this option. It should say transcribe, create new caption track and import captions from file. We want to select transcribe sequence and this menu will appear. So you can see we've got transcription detail sequence 02, sequence length 5 seconds, audio analysis. So you can either make a mix or you can choose a specific track. So if you've got music playing on track 2 and your dialogue on track 1, then you would select audio 1, not the mix, because it would try and transcribe the music and the dialogue. So just focus on the audio track that you want to focus on. Then if you want, you can select transcribe in point and out point only, but we're just going to let this transcribe the entire sequence. And then we'll select transcribe. And then Premiere Pro is just going to create an auto transcription and it's going to do its very best to take what we're saying and turn that into a transcript. So there you go. You can see it's now completed that analysis. So it says in this video, I'm talking about something a little bit different and that is how you can learn a new skill. And if we play this back, you can see it's going to go word for word and make sure everything there is perfect. So there you go, it's got it bang on, absolutely correct. If for any reason though it did something wrong, then you can just double click, go in, and you can make that change. But in my example, it did it absolutely perfectly. There's no need to change that. So now you can go into this option here and you can go retranscribe your sequence if it really got it wrong. You can export this if you wanted to send this to YouTube as a caption file, but we don't wanna do that. We want to create captions. Now you can go create from sequence transcript or you can create a blank track. So we're going to go sequence transcript. Then we're just going to go for subtitle default. Format can just be subtitle. Style we'll just leave as none. Now maximum length in characters is going to be the maximum amount of letters that it has on one caption. And at the moment it's set to 42 characters. But if we have 42 characters, then it means there'll be multiple words on at the same time. And we want more of individual words or two words max really. So let's just pull this all the way down to the shortest option available. So that's 26. Then it says maximum duration in seconds is three. So we'll leave that at three. Gaps between captions frame. So this means it will disappear off screen before coming back up again. So we'll just leave this as zero. And then lines will keep a single because that's going to keep everything contained on that one line. And we'll press create. And Premiere is just going to create those captions from our transcript. Let's see how this looks. So as you can see, it's actually spread these out. So we've got four words on this line, three on this one, four on this one, five on this one, five on this one, and then it's done. So we need to go ahead and separate all of these. So we're gonna go word for word in this. So this first one should just be in. In this video. So this one is this. So this one is video in this video so as you can see i'm making a cut on this so you can see there's three letters here we need to separate this into three different caption tracks so i'm trying to listen to where the next word comes in i'll press c on the keyboard to load the razor tool and make a cut there 
And then I'll just turn this line here into talking, which is the first word. And then it goes into something. So we'll do the same thing there. So talking about this one will be something. And then we'll do the same thing here. So this first one was A. So now at the moment, this is just at the bottom, like a caption, it doesn't look very exciting. So if we just go to one of these words, we'll go over to the essential graphics panel on the right. And then from there, we can go down into text and change the font to a font of your choice. So I'm gonna go for a really bold font here. Then we can make this even bolder if we wanted to by using the faux bold. You can add some tracking here. You can add some line height if you've got two lines, for example. Then we can increase the size, and this is what we want to focus on. So we're just going to increase this to the maximum size that we can get away with. Then we'll place this in the middle here. Now we'll go to align and transform and place this in the middle like this. And if it's off for some reason, then feel free to use these options to just place this where you need this to go. And then we can go down to the appearance and we can change the color if we want. So we can make this a specific color. So let's go for a nice blue, maybe something like this. Then we can add a stroke around this if we wanted to really make this pop. So let's go for a white stroke and increase the width of this. Then we can add a background if we wanted, but we don't have to. We can add some drop shadow. So that's just a little bit of shadow behind this. So you can make this more or less opaque. You can change the angle by pulling on this. You can increase the distance from here. And then you can also soften this up as well. So you can get to this point, And then once you're happy with the look of this one, if we scroll back through, you'll see all of them are using the old style, but this one has the new style. So this is where we make a specific track style. So we go create style and we'll call this blue text. Press OK. Now, if we select all of these text layers, and we select blue text. These should all be now blue text. Now, unfortunately, you can see something has been cut off and that's because it's a little too long. If we click onto the text, you can see we can actually expand this over to get this in or alternatively, we can just pull this scale down like this. It's, it's up to you which option you choose. But there you go. That is essentially the process of how you would go word for word, adding text onto the screen using captions. Now, of course, you could do this just by creating standard text. So you could go to the type tool, you could create text for every single word. But the problem is this can take a little bit of time. It's always worth using what Premiere has available to you to do the heavy lifting and then you just do the back end of this. So Premiere is transcribing the sequence for us, getting that edited to a specific time code and then we're just breaking up that transcript, those captions into individual words or individual characters, and then just changing the font and the style of this. But there you go. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.